got our first fish. Yeah, I snagged him on the side. He did rise to it, but just uh, go free. Anyways, this is uh, Williams Creek. There's my van. I just stepped in here. I don't know what this creek is. There's some kind of power plant here or some kind of quarry. It all comes out of the pipes. No idea where I am. It says no hunting, but fishing is allowed. So, anyways, by that rock seemed to be a spot where they're all rising. My fly keeps sinking. I gotta put some floating on it. See, there you go. All oh, same size. Well, he got away and went into a weeds. I don't know what to do with this Williams Creek because it's just all oh, fish like that almost on every cast. They're very skinny and long, not a healthy brookie. And this water feels warm. I don't know if it drains from uh, some kind of lake. Anderson Industrial Company. I gotta look that up, I don't know what it is. Okay, the creek I was just fishing with a bunch of small brookies, that was uh, Darling Creek. It wasn't Williams. I think Williams is gonna be this one. This is a campground here. There's two, actually two campgrounds next to each other. There's absolutely nobody here. It is Tuesday, but still. Yeah, see this is gonna be a Williams Fork. That's what I thought it was the other creek was Williams. It's actually this one, so. It's easy to get confused because there's five creeks dumping all within a mile into the main river. It's all the same. Just like the other creek, just a bunch of little tiny fish. As you can see this is where that board boardwalk is I stepped in. Second cast. Got a, they're very skinny brookies. It's just, uh, <laughs> it's all little tiny fish. I don't get it. Where's your mama and, and papa? Huh? I mean, look at this. It's a joke. It's like a bait. And I got a huge fly. Well, this is a south fork of William Fork. Yeah, it's fork twice. And it's the same thing. Little brookies. I don't get it. There's absolutely nobody here. When you drive the uh, the road that takes you to south, you can tell there's campsites there's that haven't been touched. There's actually a forest ranger stuck bunch of wood for people to, when they camp, they can burn fires. The wood's just rotted. Nobody comes here. And it's like the William Creek too, William Fork. Two campgrounds completely empty. There's sand everywhere and the only footsteps I see is just animals. Nobody's been here. Well guys, I'm hiking out. Out of the uh, south. Interesting mushroom, look at that. Uh, south uh, Fork of William Fork. Uh, just overloaded with small brookies. I mean, within 10 minutes I caught two dozen. Whoa. I don't know what I stepped on, something moved. Uh, I caught two dozen brookies in about 10 minutes. All four or five inches. Well, I hiked down to a Williams Fork, the main river. That's where the south, the Darling, the, uh, there's like five other streams combined and formed this little river. Not little, it's a pretty big river. So, we'll see if we catch anything other than the little brookies. I hope so. This is a big water. First fish on a big water. Small brown. Hey, beats orange brookie. Well, this is this brown is not much bigger. Very light. Lightly colored. Well, guys, this is my fourth fish on this little river. And this time it's a brookie. I caught three browns. 
all the same size and now it's finally a brookie still very small for a big river like this there you go there you go go free absolutely gorgeous river I don't get it I don't know what's uh, this whole watershed is just everything is tiny I look at frying pan and I look at this and this looks ten times better than a frying pan yet all the fish are tiny my fourth fish and they're all the same size I don't get it I don't know if this company that owns all this property dumps something in it yeah, I hate to accuse Henderson or whatever industries I mean they got like uh, they got tons of uh, holding pools and all kinds of gravel pits and maybe there's this water is contaminated with heavy metals or something I don't know I mean come on on this river this is what I'm catching this is the smallest one I've caught on this river now okay so this is the biggest fish yet in this whole water system and he's uh Eh, it's about the same size as the other, like as the brown. About seven inches. I think that's the record in this river. What a shame. All right, so the uh, William Fork, lower William Fork, was a bust. The only good thing is that it's a beautiful stream. And it's a nice bushwhack. You kind of have to go through this little pine forest I'm using this mountain as a bearing because uh, when you walk through thick stuff like that it's easy to get spun around hey there's my van so yeah very very strange river I mean I fished creeks three feet wide and most fish were bigger you know I don't know how many creeks I pulled 12 15 inch fish tiny tiny creeks and this river is so big and beautiful but it's just the, the rocks are just too clean you know <laughs> it's like there's no insect life very strange but uh, still worth uh, exploring you know maybe go even lower sections I don't know this is a uh, Kaiser Creek just by the road I figure I'll try it this is the biggest one I, I pulled about five fish out of it all tiny, this is the biggest one.